set up your Xbox like this. It can actually stand vertically or horizontally. Just make sure that there's a little bit of room for that vent. Oh, and also make sure that it's plugged into an HDMI 2.1 port, if your TV has one, for that 4K 120fps experience on Series X. Cool. Turn that console on, download the mobile Xbox app, and it's going to take you through all the basic stuff like internet connections and language settings. But Series X and S consoles can now remember up to 10 connections, so you're not going to be constantly searching for passwords, even if you move around a lot, which the Series S is quite good at because it's so small. You're then going to get prompted to download a few apps. I like Disney Plus for my Star Wars shows and true achievements for my gamer score hunting. To connect a controller, just hit the pair button on both the gamepad and the console. Should be right there. All Although the one that comes with your console is already paired to it. Super simple. Finally, make sure you peruse the settings app just to see if there's any display or audio setting tweaks that you want to make. I'd recommend turning on auto low latency mode, variable refresh rate and HDR for the best image and Dolby Atmos for the very best sound. So what are you playing first?